murder which is sweeping the eastern third of the nation is being committed by creatures who feast upon the flesh of their victims. I know you're afraid. I'm afraid too. In the summer of 1968, a small band of ghouls and goblins gathered outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to create one of the most epic movies in the horror genre. Towards the end of the movie, the ghouls reaching through the window, grabbing a hold of Barbara, clutching her and pulling her out onto the porch, surrounding her, consuming her. Whatever happened to Barbara? Did she become a ghoul? Is she still around today? And in what form? Well, I think I know someone who can help us. Someone that has secret information. What say you, Judith? Do you know where she is? Or did they come and get her? Barbara. I think it's time to explore more. There's going to be 20, 30, maybe 100 of those things. And as soon as they know we're here, this place is going to be crawling with them. <laughs> As soon as I saw she was going to be here, I was like, yep, yeah, go on Amazon, see if I can find the shirt. What'd you get, man? What, what'd you have signed? Got her picture. I thought this was the best one. And I have a big poster at home, so we already bought a frame for it. It's going to go on the wall and set it all up. Very cool. Yeah, she was great. I got to tell her last year. I got to see it on the big screen for the first time ever. And there's the old juice. This is for me. And this is for my dad. <laughs> It's so cool that they have the actual poster and it's Night of the Living Dead, the New York um, issue one premium edition. And it's by that's a publisher right there. But it has a totally different story inside. The story actually, the zombies are in New York. Yeah, so, you see, you're a super fan like I am. Like, I mean, my parents, yeah. my parents introduced me to this when I was 10 years old. And scared me shit out of me, let me tell you that. I got a few other things to get signed, but, um, and I guess when she's eating her father, she's eating the meatballs, and yes. with the chocolate syrup on her. From what I've read. Um, yeah, but everything was chocolate syrup back then. They didn't chip syrup. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. What's your name, man? Jason. Jason. I know, yeah. I see you brought in, you didn't, you didn't play around, you went full deal. Oh, yeah. wow, any, any, anything I ever get signed, man, has to be the, the real deal, full size, anything. That is very sweet. Where you got, a, you already got a wall space for that? Absolutely. Uh, on the mantle next to the family? Uh, it's, I got a, I got a studio room in my house that has all sorts of horror memorabilia, music memorabilia. So. Sweet, that's nice. And then this one, I was so surprised about this one too. This is the actual where the actual you actually fight back with guns <laughs> and shotguns. Yeah. And I, and yeah. Oh, I'm pretty buff. You're pretty buff. And I have to say, you're still very sexy. You want to look over here. Uh, that's the baby. I mean, look at that. That was good. That was good. Show me your parts. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> I, I never looked like that. I was like, good thing. But I like that. All right, Okay. <laughs> 
When I press the button on that, the little doors open and then they close. But for the, just that second, when they're fully open, you see Barbara's eyes and then the doors close again. To me, I thought, what an artistic shot in a horror film. I, I just loved it. A little fiction and fact from Barbara's Almanac. How was it working with Dwayne Jones? It was wonderful. He, he was a very intelligent, intense kind of man. He was, as you can see, this picture, he was always reading, whether it was studying the script or reading some of It was a delight to work with him. <laughs> Stephen and I love George Romero movies. I'm Nancy and I also love Right on. How long have you been holding on to that poster? Uh, about eight years. My brother Johnny and Gary Striner was the sound man. That belonged to his mother. She loaned it to us. We shot the first day. Everything worked well. But then, it, I don't know what kind of an accident, who hit who, but the car was damaged. And George said, but we need, it. we have to, we're not finished using it. He staged my running into that tree. And when I see that today, I think you could never tell that it wasn't, uh, that I didn't run into the tree. I, I just drove the car right by that tree and he got the shot. Oh, wait, let's like walk, walk. The tree. Here it comes. Yep, I walked right up beside it. That wasn't, you could never know that that didn't actually happen. I love that shot. That's great. Yeah. That's great. What we did, they, they had a bathroom upstairs that we did in flush. So every time you had to go, you had to go down with a bucket, fill it up with water, back upstairs, and use it. And I and we'll throw that into the I was saying, because you're asking for the sound. That's great. Yeah, okay. But we did it. We did it. I've been so, so thrilled to, to be a part of a lot of I know you're afraid. I'm afraid too. Coming to get you, Barbara. 